hi -oh, YouTube! My name is Dexter, and welcome back to Borderlands 2. I am about to go into the Control Core Angel. I just gotta sell some stuff real quick. Um... Uh, what do I want to get rid of? I don't need that anymore. I don't need that. Mm. I don't need you. And what else do I not need? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get rid of that one. And what are you? Mm. Nah, don't need that either. Well, excuse me. All right, so let's see. Do I need that? No, you're worse than the one I currently have. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> I got everything that I can get. I got everything that I can use. Let's go introduce ourselves to Control Core Angel. Preparing bio -scan. Please stand on the Hyperion emblem. Scanning bio signature. All right. Bio signature confirmed. Hello, sexy. Awaiting password. The password is... You. That voice modulator had better work, or this will all be for nothing. All right. I love you. Access granted. Sweet, we're in. Consider this your final warning. No, consider this my final warning. Turn around, and I promise I'll make it quick. But I swear, if you take one more step. Every soul back in Sanctuary will die, staring at their own lungs as I rip them from their chests. Okay. <clears throat> and now this long-ass elevator. Iridium alone could never charge the Vault Key. It needs a catalyst, something to awaken its power. It needs a siren. Jack acquired his siren catalyst a long time ago. He kept her hidden from the world for years, but... Yay, freedom. Whee! Come on, go faster. Go faster! This is slow as hell and I hate this elevator. It's also deep. Like the center of the mountain. There we go. Woo! I detect you're getting close. <coughs> Excuse me. Reach me. You must get the vault key and deal with me. <clears throat> Before we go too much further, I want to drop a little bit of a uh, personal matter that I've been dealing with. Uh, my grandfather passed away over the weekend, and it kind of sucks, but there's nothing I can do about it, so there's that. It, yeah, been a, uh, been a, yesterday was a very long day. Let's go with that. Uh, that's all I'll say. So, we're now inside Control Core Angel, where angels fear to tread. Steal the vault key. I think I can do that. I think I'm able to steal the vault key. All right. <clears throat> Put me in, coach. Let's go. Executing phase shift. The key is here, but to truly stop Jack from waking the warrior, you cannot just steal the vault key. You must destroy his catalyst. You must destroy. Angel. Me. Jack spent years pumping me full of iridium, using me to charge his key and manipulate his enemies, destroying the iridium injectors that keep me alive will stop the key from charging, and it will end a lifetime of servitude. You get the hell away from my door! What the hell are you doing, Angel? All right, let's go, buddy. All right, fine. Let's go. So yeah, it's a uh, slightly dysfunctional family if I've ever seen one. All right, let's go, boys. Let's go fight some robots. All right, I hit the wrong button. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. I've been playing a lot of Path of Exile recently, and I've got all my uh, a lot of my most important buttons set to my uh, set to my mouse buttons. Bring it on, Angelic Guard. I'm gonna kill that guy first, because I don't like him. 
I'm pretty sure the angelic guards are built so you can't blow off their limbs. You gotta shoot them in that little uh, red eye dot. Oh, hello. Well, is that stuff dead? <clears throat> All I know, all I really remember about this is that you gotta... Well, I mean, I remember a lot about this. You gotta just survive the waves. And eventually, you get to uh, break one of those things above me. You get, we'll break, you get to break one of those injectors. And to hell with you. <clears throat> okay, I didn't quite blow him up, but I did a lot of damage to him. So there. <clears throat> you leave me alone. You leave me alone, core defense turret. And you too, shock field generator. I think I might need to switch off this shotgun for a second. As cool as it is, I think I might need to get rid of it. <clears throat> Shut up! Don't tell me how to live my life! I'm the hero here, not you. Okay. You need to stop. You need to stop that. Ow. You put down the barrier. Put it down. Put down the barrier. Thank you. <clears throat> I don't know if shooting it actually helps or not. I know that I hate these things, though. Ion loaders are the worst. There we go. Uh, I'd rather refill my health, actually. If it's all the same with you there, sister. There we go. <clears throat> Where? Oh, there he is. Go get him, Roland. No, you didn't miss it, you just didn't know. Kinda hard to... Okay, come on, show- okay, there's- oh. Pretty good core defense turret. Let's go, Death Trap, let's go murder some people. Alright, let's go shoot this guy. Okay, that was a bad idea. I immediately regret that decision. Did they actually slay him? I don't think they did. I wasn't listening to him in the first place. I don't really know what he said. I'm too busy picking up ammo. No, oh, okay. Ah, I lost all my anarchy. Shit. All right, fine. I'll shoot down the warloader. Go get him, death trap. Go get him. It's all you, big guy. I believe in you. Oh, there. I did blow off his little power cannon. Whatever the hell you want to call it. Boop. Now I know it says he's in there. I can't see him. Bop. Oh, I missed. Yeah. No, nope, I still missed. This guy does a lot more damage than I realize. Come on, come on, fall over, thank you. Bop, 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 there we go. <clears throat> so we're one third of the way through this fight. That's all this is, it's just a really long, drawn out fight. Where'd you drop it? So, <laughs> in Borderlands 1, I played Roland. He was my favorite. Well, I mean, I say he was my favorite. He's the only character I played. He, uh, <clears throat> was more of a support than anything else. Uh, my brother played Brick, and it was a hell of a lot of fun. But in Borderlands 2, the soldier has, what, I think it's called a saber turret? It just, uh, like, the, the soldier in Borderlands 2, Axton, just does so much more damage. It's phenomenal. All right, I gotta sneeze something fierce, but it's not coming out of my head. Ah! Ah, nope, it's not coming out. Nope. <clears throat> Come on. There we go. Oh, I didn't have to reload. One dead. Two dead. Bring you ion loader. Let's kill the angelic guard. And then the ion loader. I can't blow up the ion loader's arms, can I? I don't think I'm allowed to, no. 
Bop. Where is he? Oh, he's over there. Come get some, big guy. Let's friggin' tussle. I'm gonna use this as defense. I'm gonna hide behind this wall. Hit. <clears throat> I do need to get better at throwing grenades. There's one type of grenade that I've been using for the longest time. Uh, longbow grenades. And... More accurately, uh, a grenade called the Fastball, which might as well be a longbow grenade. It's the strongest grenade, pound for pound, but it's got the smallest blast radius of any grenade in the game. The other one that I use a lot is the Magic Grenades uh, from Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep, I think it's what it's called. The <clears throat> Magic Grenades also have the added benefit of just continuously recharging, too. That's the whole thing. I'm a bandit. I'm not supposed to follow the rules. <clears throat> Alright, down you go, Mr. Loader. I really wish this fight was faster, but there's nothing... Aside from killing things quicker, there's nothing I can actually do to make it go faster. And that kind of bothers me. What is... Oh, it's a turret. I like how... <clears throat> Above ground, he said, you'd think I'd defend my angel with nothing but a bunch of flimsy turrets and a couple bots. And that's exactly what he's doing in here. Using flimsy turrets and a couple bots. That being said, I do like Handsome Jack as a character. Rather, I like him at the start when he's just a super sarcastic, like, egotistical maniac. I'd like to pay attention to what they're saying, but I'm too busy murdering stuff. I know it's a giant family crisis and all that, but what the hell hit me? Oh. That hit me. Well, it's dead. Gage just had a, a... Oh, there he is. He's big and angry incoming. Woo! Grenade. But yeah, the, uh... If I can finish my initial thought about the magic grenades, I love them. They were so much fun. Specifically Chain Lightning. Because Chain Lightning not only hit immediately, it hit everybody in an area. I think it hit, like, four or five people at once. <clears throat> they also recharged over time. It was, it was fun. It was, it was solid. And I really want to go get another one. I forget what enemy actually drops them, but there are, like, basically there's like four or five different magic grenades. Or no, there, there's three different magic grenades, like three different types of magic grenades, and two variants of each. Basically, there's a fire grenade, a lightning grenade, and a slag grenade. And <clears throat> the fire grenade... The first one is just called the Fireball, and the second one's called the Firestorm. The Fireball, you just huck out a big ball of flame, and it explodes. It's got a pretty big blast radius, pretty good chance to light things on fire. Firestorm is the legendary upgraded version of it, and it you throw it out. Whatever it makes contact with, it'll explode on them, and then disappear for a couple seconds. And then meteors will fall from the sky. It's amazing. Ow. Alright, fine. I'll shoot the friggin' little turret. Come on, come on. Don't you walk in front of me there, loader. There we go. Oh, I already had a death trap out. I didn't realize. I was trying to hit the button to bring him up because I thought that's what the spinning gear icon meant. Anyways, uh, yeah, the, uh, the, the lightning grenade is 
I think it's just called Lightning Bolt, and then the upgraded version is Chain Lightning. I already told you what it does. It travels instantly, hits one guy, and then the upgraded ultimate version of it, or the legendary version of it, hits everything in an area. Like, it'll link between them. It jumps between them like Chain Lightning should. And then the last one is a Slag Grenade called Magic Missile. And then there's Upgraded Magic Missile that I don't remember how exactly it works. I think it's just more missiles. They're just homing grenades. Whee! And it's, uh, it's, it's, I love them. They're my favorite grenades, hands down. The only thing they can't do is heal you, but I play a lot of characters that have a lot of self-sustain anyway, so it doesn't matter. Or rather, when I play a character, I build them for self-sustain, so it doesn't matter anyways. I don't... I am stealing a bunch of stuff, though. All right, there we go. That's that's the, that's the fight. That's how you do it. Well, I killed a girl. I killed a little. I killed a girl. I killed a teenager. Excellent. Round of applause to me. Steal the key. Give me that key. All right, who do I... Oh, this guy, right. <clears throat> Angel is dead and Crimson Raiders are in possession of the vault key. It's time to take down Handsome Jack. Done. More Angels, Fear to Tread, part two. Cutscene! She's dead. Jack just lost his only way to awaken the warrior. We got the vault key. This isn't over yet. We gotta find Jack and take him out. Lily, take the ball key to Tennis. I'm going after Jack. Roland! So. You bastard! I'm gonna. Get language. What's that saying? Don't pick a fight with a man with nothing left to lose. See, I'm gonna show you just how much you have to lose. And I got the most powerful siren on the planet to do it with. Lilith, kill the Vault Hunter. We've got a date to keep with the warrior. Do it, Lilith. No! Bam! There we go. I'm out. What happened? What the hell just happened? First Lord Wing, now this? Vault Hunter, find me a sanctuary. You gotta get Lilith back. All right, so... Yeah, that's, uh, Roland dies. That's the thing that happens. Roland dies. Marcus Munitions Storeroom. Yeah, let's go loot him. Let's do it. I don't care. I don't care I don't care that much about Marcus. Uh, is that better than the shotgun I currently have? Where is that shotgun? Are you it? Nope. Are you it? Y'all. <clears throat> you are better, but you have less rounds, and I'll take it. Just for the hell of it. Ooh. I like you. I just like Torg weapons. I really want to go through the Torg campaign of Carnage again, because Torg, Mr. Torg is just a delight. I'm pretty sure he's voiced by the English voice actor of Hercule from, uh, the, whatever it's called there. Uh, Dragon Ball Z, there we go. Man, that took me a while. I don't know why that took me so long to think of, but yeah, I'm pretty sure Mr. Mr. Torg, whose full name is Mr. Torg Flexington, his first name is Mr. Torg, uh, I believe he's voiced by Hercule from the English dub of Dragon Ball Z, or Mr. Satan, if you're... Hey, Iridium, and money. What are you? Vladoff accuracy, cooldown. Eh, I kind of like that one. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, uh, that's that. I think I'm gonna call this an episode, because there's not a whole lot left to do. For those of you who are new, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. But if not, carry on your merry way. But for the rest of you ramblers, I will catch you on the next episode, which will have me doing what Mordecai wanted me to do. So, I hope you all enjoyed this, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody. It's been a ton of fun.